Let's design a crow character. Anyways, I accidentally drew out a- Oh my god, what was that? I'm so sorry. Um, I was supposed to draw a female character. And then that happened. I don't know, just repressing the memories of previous commissions. The Furrier commissions, of course. You have to take them. Obligatory. Anywho, we're drawing a, a person and, um, I don't know what's wrong with me. My anatomy's a little off. That's normal for me to, like, constantly erase and redraw stuff because I don't really know what I'm doing. Do you know what you're doing? We just kind of fake it till we make it, don't we? I sent this to the, uh, customer around the, about this time and they said they wanted the wing smaller. So we making the wing smaller. Even smaller, please. Even smaller, please. Thank you. That, that's appreciated. Thank you. And the other one. So this is a reference. So we need a front and a back. Um, we gotta fix the anatomy up. I don't know. I came. I left. Came back. I was like, I still need some more work. I don't know. I did, that's the good thing about picking up a commission is. You just keep on finding more stuff to fix the longer you work on it. And the front and the back, sometimes this is really confusing, so um, it helps to just erase everything that is facing the other direction. And just leave yourself with the uh, outline and then draw it up back in. We're doing some line art here. I try to make the f texture to look still like feathers, like large clumps. Um, except for the hair, because that is literally hair. I don't know. <laughs> I actually really like drawing wings, to be honest. I thought to myself when I finished this, I was like, oh, what a lovely, simple character. Let's just, I don't know, is this worth posting? And then I was just like, oh, oh yes, I, I do quite love to put a lot of effort into wings, don't I? <laughs> like quite, quite a lot, a lot of effort. <laughs> Honestly, I'm really going to be showing my age here when I say that I kind of designed my wings in the back of my head around uh, the tri wings from Furcadia. If you know what I'm talking about, then, you know, I probably... Probably don't have to tell you how many gray hairs I pull out of my head on a weekly basis. I put a little more detail into the wings and the feet um, simply because there isn't going to be any shading in this drawing and I fully intend on coloring the lines so this might be overcrowded like maybe you want to just do an outline and shade stuff. So how I color the lines is I do all the line art, I duplicate the lines. The lines on top are going to be set to multiply about 50% and the lines underneath have the opacity locked and I color them to be exactly the color that I want them to match. It's a crow, so we are filling it in with just a few simple colors. I actually really like the simple design of having just a few pink marks here and there. So I went in here and I found a really cool uh, star brush um, for the reference and I found uh, another feather. So I used the feather um, for the color swatches. And here we are coloring the lines. As you see, I actually left the outline to be black because I just felt it helped the drawing a lot. Please like and subscribe my videos if you'd like to see more. Oh yeah, my Luna merch, really popular in my Etsy shop, you gotta look that up, alright? It's Meek's art, on Etsy. Them things are selling out, I might have to restock soon, I don't know. <laughs> this character is not for free use.